What is performance psychology? This is The Competitor's Brain, episode number one, and I am Lauren Fox. Performance psychology is comprised of ways that you can enhance your performance on and off the field. It's, as Dr. Rob Gilbert says, how to do your best when it means the most. This can apply to important things in your life, like taking a test, a job interview, taking the MCAT, or being at bat with the game on the line. Who does it? Well, pretty much any major league or major league baseball player, college athletes, uh, even a lot of high school athletes, uh, anybody you can think of. Aaron Judge, Corbin Burns are a couple big ones uh, that come to mind right off the bat. But every major league baseball team has somebody who helps with performance psychology, and most college programs do too, although sometimes they don't for each individual program. They might just as an athletic department. It is about trying to play the game on easy mode and not on hard mode. It's about finding routines that are going to work for you. It's about trying to figure out why the offseason matters and why sometimes cramming for an exam isn't necessarily the best answer and starting your offseason prep before tryouts is the best answer. It's about figuring out what an elite mindset is, a growth mindset compared to a fixed mindset. It's about figuring out what motivation and commitment are, why the offseason matters to you, focus and awareness and how to work on those skills, learning self-control and discipline. And we all hear about discipline as a bad thing, but discipline is not a bad thing. It's, it's temperance, it's moderation. Process goals versus outcome goals, working backward from your goals to try to figure out how you can achieve them. Routines and habits of ex- excellence, leadership and what leadership is. But what it isn't is necessarily your mental health, though it will impact it. And if so, if there are any direct issues related to your mental health, you should probably discuss those with a professional. We're going to start with five a week directly related to performance, two on the weekends that are slightly different. And the goal is to give you enough so that you can start the season and continue to sharpen it through the season. Now, I have listened to an average of 15 minutes of podcasts a day for three years. I've gone through certifications with a gentleman named Brian Kane, uh, who we'll talk about as this wears on. And I've also taken graduate school classes in it and uh, been a part of seminars given by Dr. Ken Revisa back when I was your age. So uh, the amount of time that I've invested at this point is in the hundreds, if not thousands of hours uh, on sports psychology. So the goal with any of this is to give you something that you need so that you can improve so that when it comes to for the seniors doing your senior project, you're nice and chill. So that when it comes for the the freshmen and sophomores, when you're in the middle of a final exam or a hard test, uh, you can sort of moderate your heartbeat, moderate your breathing and perform your best, as Dr. Rob Gilbert says, when it matters the most. Thanks for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with episode number two.